As usual, the courtroom is filled with lawyers and supporters of the Labour Party, the People's Democratic Party, the All Progressives Congress, President Bola Tinubu and INEC. What has been a lengthy legal battle across party lines is now reaching its climax as parties involved in the petition conclude their cases before the presidential election petition sitting in Abuja. <laughs> At Wednesday's hearing, counsel to President Bola Tinubu and the All Progressives Congress end their defense in the petition by the Labour Party. With a call on one witness, the current Senate Majority Leader, Senator Okwayemi Bamidili, the witness, who is a practicing attorney in New York, United States, says there can only be one conviction when there's a charge and indictment. He adds that the U.S. Embassy did a general criminal search on President Tinubu and found no criminal case against him. He further tells the court about a shortfall of 10,929 votes in the votes recorded for President Bola Tinubu in Kano State. Counsel to President Tinubu, Woliola Nikweku, also tenders 18 sets of documents, including the Labour Party's membership register for Anambra State, which the witness confirms did not contain the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi's name. This, according to him, indicates that he was not a member of the party at the time of contesting the last presidential election. The team also tender the ECOWAS report on the election. Meanwhile, counsel to Mr. Peter Obi, Livi Ozuko, objects to the admission of the documents, but the court admits them. Counsel to the APC, Latif Fagwemi, also closes his case, stating that his client is satisfied. Now, it's very simple. The membership of uh, His Excellency P2B has been determined by the Federal High Court. And they went on to Court of Appeal. Court of Appeal confirmed the decision of the Federal High Court. So it's a no, it's a, it's a no issue. Judgment in rem. It's a judgment in rem. It's a no issue. Back in the courtroom, the petition of the People's Democratic Party is next. President Tinubu's witness in the Labour Party's petition, Senator Okwayemi Bamidili, takes the stand once again. Under cross-examination, he tells the court that the president did not need to score 25% in the FCT to be declared winner of the election. Meanwhile, counsel to the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, Eitayo Jagade, says Senator Tinubu will be the first person to emerge as president without scoring 25% of the votes in the FCT, and the only one who lost his state at the presidential election out of the four major presidential candidates. Shortly after, the counsel to the president and the APC, Wale Olani and Latif Fagbemi announced the closure of their defense in the PDP Atiku petition. The five-man panel, led by Justice Haruna Samani, subsequently orders the respondents to file their written addresses within 10 days and the petitioners to respond within seven days. Date for the adoption of the final written addresses is to be communicated to the parties.